Alright guys, welcome back to this channel. Today I wanted to make a dedicated video just about the brand new Dew Collector that's coming in Alpha 21 of 7 Days to Die because it really will affect your early game and unfortunately you won't realize that you need to build this until it's a little bit too late and your character is going to suffer a little bit. So I wanted you guys to be able to avoid that uh, and answer your questions about what it is, how it works, where you can get it, why it's such a big deal now in your game so that you're not constantly dehydrated, dying, running out of stamina, and just struggling to find and get enough water to survive. Now I'm just coming out of a 10 hour live stream where we learned a lot about this, the do's, the don'ts, uh, and I had a lot of questions about this and I had a lot of people in my chat, some were assuming, oh, you know, you'll find water in containers everywhere. Um, if you think you're just gonna find enough water to not have to build a dew collector, especially if you have a group on a server, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> uh, just being completely honest, um, because we were not finding enough to survive on. Uh, if you don't know, the all the glass jars are completely removed and gone from the game. You can no longer make them in a forge, and you can also um, no longer like keep them. So see, if I drink this bit of water, it just goes away. I don't know if I'm eating the glass jars, I don't know if I'm chugging it and then smashing it on the ground, but there are no longer any glass jars. Um, so even if you're finding water when you're drinking it, you can't save and refill those jars. So first thing is actually unlocking the recipe for the Dew Collector, and it's something that I actually almost missed because nearly everybody in my group found one of these on day one. These magazines are all throughout the world. They're pretty easy to get, um, but you do need at least one of these because now the skills uh, are locked as crafting skills and you have to read magazines in order to unlock them. You have to read at least one of the workstations Forge Ahead magazine to unlock the Dew Collector. If you aren't lucky enough to find one of these in loot, which they are very common, uh, the traders do actually sell magazines and you may be able to find one there as well. So the main thing you're going to need for your dew collector is the new water filter. I had a lot of people assume that you could find this in regular loot, or that you could find a destroyed dew collector out in the world and harvest a water filter from that. As of me making this video, uh, and according to the patch notes, the only way that you can find this dew collector is to buy it from a trader. So at least now when you first spawn in, you do your starting quest, you get to your first trader, and what I found now going to a few different traders is that every trader seems to have three or four water filters. They always seem to cost 1500 dukes, which seems like a lot, um, but once you start doing the first couple jobs, you will definitely get this 1500 really quickly. You will be tempted to spend your dukes on other things, um, but I have to say, like I said, it takes so long for the duke collector to actually produce that you're gonna need to buy this before you actually need it. So other than the water filter, you need 100 scrap polymers, four short iron pipes, and four things of duct tape. Uh, there is increased uh, glue in the game, so it's pretty easy to get enough of this stuff for the first day. The only thing is having enough dukes to actually buy the water filter. Now let's say you actually don't have all of the ingredients. There's a neat new feature when you go uh, to look at recipes where you can now track certain recipes. So you go to this in your menu, you hit A to track, and then it will be in the top right hand corner of your screen. It'll tell you what you have in your inventory and exactly what you need to complete the recipe. So once you add that, you'll know you have everything. It's When it's tracked, it comes all the way at the top of your list. To craft the dew collector, you can craft it inside your backpack. It's only 30 seconds. It's actually really quick. Well, it's technically it's 29 seconds, um, but it's pretty quick. And as you see, we have a couple here. Now, here's the part that gets tricky. The dew collector has to have sky over it, basically. You cannot cover it up. If you put it inside a building, it will not work. It will not fill up with water. So I suggest you put them on the roof, much like we did. Uh, that way no zombies can sit there and hit it or break it or anything like that keep it in a pretty safe place. Another thing is the dew collector only collects three jars of water per day. 
Uh, I found that on average, when we're all running around and doing jobs, that I'm probably using more like six or seven jars of water a day, which means you need probably two of these per person if you're getting all of your water from here. And trust me when I say they took so much of the water out of loot. Uh, we had a really bad time with it. Um, so we ended up making more of these dew collectors. Uh, and then, as you can see, they fill up very slowly. And if you end up in a situation where you're you're gone all day and your dew collector, I don't have one that's full right now, but if your dew collector fills up, that's it. It's not, co it's not producing and it's not collecting anymore. Till you come and take a jar out, um, that's it. It's full up. So you have to stay on top of this throughout the day and make sure you keep taking jars out as they fill up. Now let's say you don't want to mess with any of that. Yes, you can still come to the vending machine and buy drinks. Uh, they're a bit pricey if you want anything other than water, but like, as you can see, uh, what I'm on day 10 and I've been doing jobs the whole time, and I end up with quite a bit of money. Uh, so that is, of course, always an option, but once this runs out, or if you have more people on a server buying it, our vending machine was actually running out and we were still dying of dehydration. Now, one question I did get in the chat a lot was, can you pick it up? Can you move it? Can you take it with you? Um, now, using a wrench, you'll see I can just left click, hit it, and it will put the whole thing right in my inventory, which is nice, so you can pick them up and move them. And if you don't have a wrench, you can do the same with the axe. So I know what you're probably thinking, just craft some tea, make something that's more efficient than water, you know, perk into MasterChef. It's not that simple anymore, especially early on in the game, because the only way that you can unlock certain recipes now is, is no longer through skill perks, but through like increasing your crafting skill through reading magazines, which you will find throughout the game a lot. Um, but in the beginning, you can't just spec into things now. Uh, you actually have to read like 11 magazines before you unlock um, any sort of tea or coffee or juice. Um, so you're stuck with just regular water for a while and you do need a pot to boil it. So we played on the pre-gen 8k map and we found that even bodies of water were pretty few and far between. Um, but I just wanted to show you desperate times call for desperate measures. If you really are dying of dehydration, pop a vitamin if you have it or risk dysentery. But also don't forget, you're not going to be able to craft the tea to cure your dysentery until you get up there a little bit. With an empty hand, you can press E and drink the water. It makes a really unpleasant gagging sound, but you should be able to fill up and not get dysentery as long as you pop that vitamin. So we pretty much are saving those now just to drink water. So I don't know about you guys, but I've never actually been in a situation in this game where I was so dehydrated that I was losing one health point every, every minute or you know, so dehydrated that I my stamina didn't regen at all and I could no longer run, could no longer hit anything, could no longer do anything but walk very, very slowly to a water source. But that is the type of dehydration that comes on if you do not find enough water in loot to survive and you do not make a dew collector before you are in a dehydrated state. So I feel like a lot of people like myself and a lot of groups now that are streaming, I've noticed, are finding them in situations where they're getting dehydrated and having problems with water and they're not realizing that they have to build a dew collector until they are in those bad situations. So it's my hope that with this video, I can help you guys out in your early game so that you can play the game, enjoy Alpha 21, um, not worry so much about the fact that jars are now gone and all these other things. Uh, and hopefully this will help you guys understand the dew collector a little bit, how to get the filter and all that. So let me know what you think about these changes and the new sort of, you know, sur survival when it comes to water and what you think of it. Um, you can still find murky water in like toilets and different places, uh, and you can boil that on the campfire, but we still are not finding enough to sustain everybody. Uh, so it was a lot. So hopefully this helps you avoid any sort of 
really, really bad dehydration to the point where you can't move because that's what happened to us. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for supporting the Alpha 21 streamer weekend. I really appreciate it. I can't wait to you guys jump into this. The game looks great. There's a lot of new things about it that are really, really awesome that you can do now. So I'm really excited. Uh, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.